Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and here I go again just like a brat and just like the GED combining a lot of concepts that confuse students. Difference confuses students. Um, you know, negative numbers confuse students. Fractions make students cry. So yeah, I'm being a total brat. But expect this uh, from the first five problems of the GED where you won't have a calculator. So let's give this a try. So it says, what is the difference? Now, hopefully, if I know if you were in any of my classes, this is the, v I teach this on the very first day of class. I teach those four super critical words, some difference, product, and quotient. Uh, but difference is a subtraction expression or an answer when you subtract. So hopefully when you saw the word difference, you thought subtract. But there's something super special about difference. Difference is always positive. You're not looking for negative answers. Sometimes when we subtract, we get negative answers, but not with difference. With difference, we want a positive answer. So there's a couple ways I can guarantee I have a positive answer. Probably the easiest way is just to start with the bigger number. So yeah, I'm going to subtract these two numbers, but I'm going to start with the bigger one. So what's bigger, four and a fourth or negative one and one fourth? Well, of course, positive numbers are always bigger than negative numbers, so that's easy. I'll take four and one fourth, and from that I'm supposed to subtract. Now be careful. What are you supposed to subtract? Too many students go, there's already a minus sign there. I won't write the other one. No way, dude. You're supposed to subtract the other number, and the other number is negative one and one quarter. Now you might be saying, oh my gosh, Kate, how am I supposed to do that? That's disgusting. I don't even know what that means. What does it mean to subtract a negative? Well, whenever you have two negatives in the row, it might help you to read one as the opposite. So I'm saying the opposite of subtraction, the opposite of subtraction, or the opposite of a negative number. Either way you think of it, the opposite of subtraction is addition, or the opposite of a negative number is a positive number. Two negatives in a row turn into plus. And now, dropping down my four and a quarter, and my one and a quarter, this will be a lot easier to add up. So um, when you are adding and subtracting, you can add and subtract the same kinds of things. So I can add and subtract like my two fractions together. A quarter and a quarter is two quarters, or two fourths. And hopefully you know, let me see, let me just draw my little picture, that if this is broken into quarters, it's broken into fourths. If I have two fourths, that's the same as one half. And mathematicians always write things as simply as possible, so I'll just write that as one half. And then four plus one gives me five. So I have five and two quarters, or five and one half. What's the difference between four and a quarter and negative one and a quarter? It's five and a half. Those numbers are very different. No, right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.